Hello everyone, welcome to 1.1 in Against the Storm. They've apparently changed a lot of stuff in it, so I'll be going through that stuff with you. This is like a tutorial, a let's play, or guide, or anything above. Anything there above. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'll be playing this uh, with you. Of course. And uh, yeah, in the beginning I'll uh, check the uh, film and everything and go through the tutorial because they've changed the tutorial a lot. And yeah, I'll shut up and go away. The world is plagued by the Blight Storm. A vile cycle of destruction, ravaging everything in its path. The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. This game, by the way, is the only game I ever played that is roguelike, or roguelite, or rogue whatever, that is a city builder. It's like a city builder roguelike, I'd say. You keep your sort of progression from when you do stuff, but you have a, a big map where you go and build cities, and then those resets after a time. Um, but I'll get into that a lot later. Uh, use Vasta WSD on the mouse to move the camera. Neglecting your village will increase your queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you, the red part. Fjonk. Fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation, unlock new buildings and eventually bring you to victory. That would be the blue wall line. Now show choose a new blueprint select the crown icon below Yonk. <clears throat> each expedition starts with only a few essential blueprints more will be given to you as you gain reputation points now pick your woodcutter's cap this is like everything in this game is like you click here well now i'll pick it up and everywhere you click there's like Everything makes sense. Everything is like perfect. Not right now though, because this is the tutorial, so not all windows are up. But once all windows are up, it's very easy to get hold of whatever you want to see, or whatever, whatever. Uh, if you seek like, yeah, I wonder what does this does, and then like everything is so damn obvious. Build a woodcutter's camp and explore the forest. You have to keep the fire going at all times. Yes. Space. Click a Magoli. Woodcutter's camp. Let's have a peek at this place. That's the danger zone. We're not going to go through that directly. Cause this... Since I don't have any kind of uh, blueprints or anything, winning and losing, it says here. Winning against a storm, you build one but many settlements to successfully add established towns. Therefore, win a run, you need to collect enough reputation that fill the entire bar blue. Yeah, and here's like everything if you want, want to have a peek at it. It's right there. <clears throat> Here's my dudas. You can see here. Three 
of them are the population, population, population. And uh, three of them are house homeless, so are you, and so are you. And two of them are builders, three of you are builders, and three of you are builders. I wonder why one of you aren't a builder. Yeah, because you're the firekeeper, of course. It's so easy. That's my little people. Give my goalie. Here he goes with the resources to build. And done. Perfection. Let's slap on beavers because beavers love to build everything that has to do with wood. Well, they love to do things with wood. I must say. Here's an alert. New order. Let's clicky. Let's not clicky. Let's clicky that then. Deliver. I need a wood camp. I need another one. And I need a little bit more wood. Okay. <clears throat> I was going to give them a chance to whine about that I need two wood camps before I built my second one but yeah they want me to build two ones at once two ones at once and now they just go out there and, and build that wood now you can make sure that they cut those trees so they build cut those up to that place and this is uh, getting smaller if I push push the shift button it becomes smaller so you can click the individual trees or a bit larger if you don't uh, let's pause then put uh -huh. three humans in here uh -huh. yeah Orders are ready to complete. And deliver. The next one is glades. Just have two glades and have five beavers. I've only got three beavers for now, but yeah. Exploration. Although you're surrounding almost entirely by thick forest, there are smaller and bigger glades around you. Your starting location to establish a successful settlement, you'll have to cut your way through them. Glades can contain resources, treasures, fertile soils, ruined buildings, and more. I'll go to the poor coke at St. Thomas Island now. Here's the tree marking tool. Here's the three marking tool, the axe icon on the right hand side and the lower central hub to point your woodcut at a specific area in the forest they would prioritize yeah so you sh just like I said it will be how you pri prioritize with the woodcutting let's do the same thing over here I could go a bit wider though because I, I not only do I need to to dig towards that place but I also need I need the wood wood a woodpecker that's broccoli. Maybe that's a bad place to have that. Let's move that down here instead. There we go. And then we do this. Take that away. Now we don't have that anymore. And put that on on instead. Yonk. <coughs> right oh. Choose a blueprint. Yes, I will. Shelter. You can accommodate villagers, but satisfy the need for species to species housing. Has built near half. Can house three residents. This is very interesting because this will change depending on what kind of different shelters you can have. But this houses three and we can check in the top left corner how many citizens do we have we've got 12 
12 by, divided by 3 is of course 98. No, it isn't. 3, 6, 9, and 12. And they are made out of wood you make them out of. So this will be perfection. Let's be so happy that we make a road over here as well to make our subjects run faster. Does it say what it costs? No, it doesn't say anything. Probably just takes time to build. I'm not that much sure. Down here we got sacred pyre, lesser fire keeper, very adept at ancient rites, and the wood cutting is a lot easier. Wood cutting camp production is 35% quicker. That's mad. That's mad. Uh, the reason why we wanted them all to be sheltered is because a lot of stress goes down if they are sheltered. And let's pause that. Let's have a peek. Drizzle nests and rot root deposits are in this one. Now you busy little beaver have dug through to that one. Let's dig through this one then. Finishing the shelters. Nice noise. Uh, the beavers, etc., don't like populate themselves. They only populate by. Um, what's this button? I've never seen this before. Select the building or deposit to destroy. Okay, I don't want to destroy the buildings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> now they're standing around the fire here watching it. Watching it burn. Um, I could make a few more shelters because you guys don't have anything better to do. So let's slap one on there. And... One over there. Yes, next blade event. Small deposit of roots. Come on, give me beavers. How can I get beavers though? Let's see if we can't build anything else. Don't think we can do that yet, can we? No. At least we got another shelter. So we can house three more beavers. This is a beaver hut. Will pause. A building destroyed in the storm. It can be rebuilt or salvaged. Special bonuses. Uh, forest is the proficiency you should have. Don't remember, do you have forest or is that the harpies that's got the forest one? I think it's the harpies. Wait a minute, how did I get? Did I get more beavers? Maybe. Um, do that, and this makes Herbalist Camp. Or I may salvage it. 
using clay. Let's see, do I even have parts? Let's investigate that. I'm a bit unsure whether or not I got parts. Yeah, I got parts there, it looked like. Blade events. Blade events are objects found in the forest, like abandoned catches, survivor camps, runes, wild beasts, etc. Some of them are positive, offering good and new villagers exchange for small amount of resources, the other are dangerous, forcing you to act quickly to avoid negative consequences. This also gives you a generous reward should you complete them. I wouldn't say this w was a negative one, but uh, that's exactly how the negative ones uh, work. You have a little bit of time left and to do stuff. Um, let's have you over here then. Uh, move. Move. Then take all of those. It's not like Taking this is a bad thing because we do need wood for the burning of the fire. There we go. Are you guys getting done? You are done. Let's then slap two people in here. I wonder if these aren't gonna check. I think this is actually made for them. No it isn't. Okay. Well done. God damn it, this is made for them. Yeah, six beavers. Be happy. Um, woodcutters, yes. Where did I get those beavers from? Don't understand. Objectives. Small forager camps and broccoli. That is a herbalist camp, that's not a forager's camp. Let's see here. Small forger camps. A small crude version of a special camp. Slower can only gather from nose. Can collect grain, roots and vegetables. And it gathers with a star. There's three stars you can have. It's either one star like this is, or a two star, or a three star. So as it says, it's a crude version of a special camp. I think it's actually a crude version of this one. Might be. Anywho, we're going to make it small. There we go. Make it so. Now he's running up there with the materials to build it. Bears and mushrooms. This is a bit different, but it's it's got two stars there, as you see. It's not just one star, so it's a, a bit better working shenanigan. Let's see, humans. Yes, humans are good at this. Small forger camp. Grain roots and vegetables. Uh, let's also do this so that they grab all of those. This is the shore. Nothing is further there. So I'll let these fellows just mine these trees and I'll go on with the story instead of small forge camp. Uh, yes, that's going on. Goody, goody. I'm a bit early bird. Newcomers are coming. Newcomers, then I can choose between um, lizards, 
uh, beavers and a human, three of them, and then I'll also get vegetable, leather and stone, or grain and humans. These people have been sent here by the crown. Which group do you want to stay, Viceroy? The other will continue on to the next settlement. It's very nice of them that the other one will continue on to the next settlement, so that you don't feel f sh bad if you don't pick them. Um, three, three and five. Vegetables we're already taking, so let's just take grain then. That's good enough. Could have taken the other one, then we would have finished that one, but since we've got this under control already by over here, I don't think we need, we need to pick it. And as you see, everything is on wheels, so you can move everything. These are nice ones as well. These are two-starred. love the music in this game as well. If you've been on this channel for a long time you will also know that I love the music that puts a female voice making almost words in the background. I love that. I'm trying to shut up so I hear her but no. She refused to talk. Ah, now I'm done here. Deliver. Then I'll get Queen's Grace. I'll get vegetable, plus one vegetable production, gain additional vegetable every year from gathering farms or production. Nice. Then I got this one. Stone cutters camp. An advanced camp can gather large resources nodes, additional small ones can collect. And these are two stars for stone, clay and sea marrow. <clears throat> that one I would love to build. And I'll put it over there. It also shows what kind of different uh, how many are houseless? Homeless? No one is. Good. Because this is a storm thing. When that happens, the resolve of the humans and the lizards, well, of all your citizens, goes down a bit. Like up here, for example, you see this goes to 15, this goes to 7, etc. So we need to keep them happy. But they're all in the green, so that's alright. Let's see. Human. Oh, yes. You must love to slave away at the clay stone cutter's camp. Mm. Let's pick you up. Pick you up and put you down. And after you've dug all those. Can dig into that. Let's well build another shelter because I'm thinking we are going to get more people. So one and two is good enough. And we'll make a little bit of a nice road here as well. Path, Fjonk, and Fjonk. How oh, nice! This is my village! Oh, done with the order. <clears throat> no, I chose the cornerstone. No one can weather the storm alone. The queens offer you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town proper prosperity. Give me a few seconds. 
Thank you, my lordly. Uh, when I'm rendering this video, the Queen offers you cornerstone that will lay foundation for your town pros prosperity. Sh choose wisely, as you won you won't be able to change it. Complete the tools. Building materials are foundation of every settlement. Production is 50% quicker in building crude workshops. In the building crude workshops. Okay. The Royal Academy wants detailed map of reading. You will supply will you gain 20 reeds and 20 clay for each discovered glade. That's a little bit not so nice though since I opened so many already. So I'm going to go with the carpenter tools. And the orders go to deliver that one. Next one is harvester's camp. I wonder what I'm going to get here then. Oh my god, harvester camp! An advanced camp can gather large giant resources nodes in addition to small ones. Can collect plant fiber and reeds. Okay. I won't hate that. Let's uh, build it. And then let's see where we got that. We got that over there. And we got it over there. So let's build that over. Let's say there. And then we can make a little bit of a path here as well. Okay. Logistics. Every building has its own internal storage where the goods are pro or producers together are temporarily stored. When the internal storage reaches limit, the goods in it will be transported to the main warehouse by a worker. Yeah, so <clears throat> everything's got their internal own storage before it gets tossed away to the warehouse, which is over here. Main warehouse! It's a lizard. Every uh, uh, human lizard or whatever got different bonuses to when they are. Okay, give me a few seconds. Uh, every uh, lizard, human, or beaver, or whatever got different bonuses to when you <laughs> fix. Them as a firekeeper. Put them as a firekeeper. Destroy the camp in the wilderness. There are still survivors in the area. Special bonus. Uh, welcome the people. We get two people. We got get a human or a lizard. Or this one will send an ember pouch to the citadel. Send to the citadel. Send them to the citadel. Okay, yeah. We'll welcome those. People, because we like people in our little uh, town. And you are going to get two humans. There we go. What else do we have in here? Worm, tongue, clay deposits. That's nice. Yeah, this game is such a lovely game. And what I could be doing, I could speed this up so they run faster, etc. And everything goes a bit faster, but I don't feel like I need to do that in the tutorial. <laughs> I think I'm all right. Um, we could actually do this so we get a little bit more room here to build. And that. So we get a little bit more room there. Then we move you up a bit. There we 
Bordeaux. Order is ready to complete. Yes, yes, sir, sir. Workstation upgrade. Let's see what we get next. Crude workstation. Can use the storm water. I won't start on talking about that yet because I think you will get that after a while. But let's make one of those. Those are within this one. Crude workstation. The crude workstation, the reason why it's called crude is because, well, it's crude. It's not focused or best in the world at something. Oh, this is actually a, a not filled in star, so it's worthless at doing these things. Basically. But yeah, they can can do it, but they're not the best at it. Let's put a lizard and a human to work there. And they'll slowly but surely start to make that. Let's give them a road, shall we? Ah, right, I need to click it first. Let's do it like that. And build a little house over there. Because we're probably going to need it sooner or later. Do -do 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 -do. And the reason why I'm building the road is it grants 5% speed to your villages, villagers, and well, them running faster is good because then they don't run that slow. <clears throat> it, you can make better roads later. Look over here, they built, they uh, cut down a lot of trees here so I can build other stuff right here now. That's nice. And these are cutting these trees. Mm -mm. Now I got another one of those houses. Let's see, flex fields. Decorations are something you could put out as well. It makes them a bit happier. Newcomers are waiting. What do I want? Humans and beavers or humans and lizard? This gives me leather and plants, while these give me just roots. I think I'll take these three, because three are better than two. At least that's what I think. I think three is better than two. You don't want too many humans, uh, and by humans I mean citizens. You don't want too many of them because you have to feed them all and everyone has to stay in the building etc etc. Um, but since I'm pretty good at building for them, I wouldn't say that, they, uh, that I have a problem with them. Where do we have that shelter? Over there. We don't need to do those. Not that we could have. Could have, would have, should have. Now it's the clearance year two. Uh, it's divided in three different uh, uh, periods in the year. It's drizzle, it's clearance, and it's storm. And those just follow each other. Let's move you a bit, shall we? Like that. Then tell you to mine this wood up. Mine the wood. 
Yes, mine the wood. Ah, order is done. Let's see what the last building is. Human, beavers or lizards. Let's check what we got the most of. Uh, that would be humans. So let's... And as you see here, a built near half can house two residents instead of three. So it's a little bit less, but they are a lot happier if they get their own hearth, so to speak. <coughs> what do we need? We need planks and clay thingy-magoli to create it. Let's slap you around. Two, two, four, six. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Now I need to go for the dangerous blade. These are those two. Let's have a peek at what we're doing here. Let's take fabric and stop producing fabrics. And just make these two then. Even though they're actually not the bestest. We'll make just those two. So that I may house my humans in these buildings. Uh, Dangerous Glade, they want me to open this up. Um, I'll take you to do that, since you're not busy with other things. Hope I can resolve this evil, can evil stuff up there. <coughs> now this is done, then they're building it. And I got even more buildings for people. Because I still have this one, but they will move out of that one and move into this one since that's a human human settlement. Let's build a little bit of a road there. Fjonk. And these two will be built once uh, this one has produced those two. So they're just mass producing them and putting them into the warehouse so that the builder may run over here and poke those in. Move you a bit closer. Drizzle season. Oh, love it all. So, healthy already. Let's slap you in. I don't want to make them not be able to go through there. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. They won't be able to build those until I will open this up before. And probably, hopefully resolve the evil channel again going on with this glade up here. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight.
you can also click control then you see what they produce and what they do you can hold down alt and you see what kind of shenanigan people are doing in all those different buildings and then you can also switch switch your own with these two and you switch by scrolling the scroll wheel between that's a just a faster pace of doing the same thing let's see now what happens <coughs> when these busy beavers are down here Let's see, ancient shrine. I need scrolls, or I have scrolls, apparently, or planks. Let's pick one of each race so we get to finish this together, guys. And curse of the forebearer disturbing the ruins of the great civilization can have consequences kill three random villages <gasps> oh my god happens every four to three and what is that scrolls do i have scrolls hello triple ace it's an old friend of mine I'm sure I got scrolls though, do I? No, but I got clothing. So that works. Yeah. Planks. I don't have planks, so I'm using that instead. Now it works. That's a lot better. Now they're going to bring all of those things up here. Stone, egg deliveries, or plant fiber per minute. I'll take plants, works best, I think. It's not like it matters because this is the only thing that do, does matter right now. Probably the first people will actually die. <clears throat> Three of my friendos. There they go. Slap you in there instead. Instead, you, which means I'll lose. Let's see, what do we want here? We want food or clay. <clears throat> Let's also slap you in then. Let's take you. How's this going, guys? Don't want to send another three people to their deaths. Oh my god. Are you done? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab it. He's carrying the shrine, the ancient tablet, and 
Uh, Horus camp has no deposit nearby. Okay. Let me move you down there. Okay. Are we thinking it? Following order. Deliver. This village has been sacred, but there is no more test to your skills. The village has been secured, but there is no more tests. One more test, of but there is one more test of your skills. Yes, I got rewarded by f uh, eating f food stockpile and level of experience for finishing this. <coughs> that is nice. Now it's the next time, so I'll pause this and get back to you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Bye bye.